It's just disgusting. It's been nearly eight months since Ashley Greer told Cherokee County authorities she was sexually assaulted during a massage. And then he started massaging my breasts, like full on massaging my breasts. So grossed out. In this police video obtained by the reveal, she tells a Cherokee County investigator how ashamed she felt for freezing up and not saying stop. I was like, I wish that I could go back and change the way that things happen. But well, don't, please don't feel bad about that at all. But she no longer felt supported or believed after listening to what that same investigator said to the man she accused of assault. I would just say, be careful mm -hmm. going yeah. forward where your arms travel yeah. <laughs> because some of the, some young women come in, you don't know what their background is if they've been assaulted before. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know. sometimes they can make up something yeah. in their mind or yeah. they can think something that didn't happen and they'll be convinced that it happened. It made me so hurt and so angry because it sounds like he is telling them she's just making this up. Just be careful where your hands are going. Then she saw our 11 Alive reveal investigation into unsolved rapes in Cherokee County. There is something systemically going on. Then I realized, okay, so it's not just me that is having these feelings about nothing being done or being taken seriously. In fact, like her feelings were shared with multiple raised. women. Like, like it's not really crime in their book. I felt like he was judging me the whole time. How much did you drink? What were you wearing? He asked you, what were you yeah. wearing? I know that you don't ask a rape victim. What were you wearing that night? We played those accusations for Cherokee Sheriff's Captain Mark Anderson and Lieutenant Garrett Carter. It was so traumatizing. I was in therapy. It was like every time I got an email, it was just this breaking of my spirit. They're hearing them for the first time because this is the first time Cherokee County has agreed to go on camera with us since our investigation began. Being honest with you and going back and looking at the first story that you did, that first case, we made some mistakes. And, and we own that, I own that. And going forward, um, you know, we can always do better. So here's what they plan to do. Create a policy that directly covers sexual related crimes, something that did not exist before. It's also implementing new training, but that's not all. And once these processes are in place, taking a historic look at our cases that we still have statute of limitations on, and reevaluate those historic cases to right any wrongs that may have been committed in the past. So you're gonna essentially do an audit of all these past sexual assault cases and rape cases? Yes. That includes all of these women's cases. So your case is gonna get a second look. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's exciting a little bit that, um, that my case can, I guess, get reopened and I just feel like it was, it was such a joke.